And just like that, I'm back. You're on S Motorsports, and today we're gonna to be doing a little education on the cooling system. guys like I said we're gonna be doing a little education on the cooling system today I wasn't planning on making this video but I get questions and I see on Facebook all the time questions about the Camaro's cooling system and how it works and how much we should fill the reservoir and um, the overflow tank so I kind of wanted to go through what the Camaro system is compared to like an older system like the Trans Am has so let's get to it so the Camaro, the newer six gens, I'm not sure about the fifth gens, I take it they probably have something very similar, but it's what you call uh, a, a surge tank or an expansion tank with uh, an attached overflow bottle. So that's what this combination cooling tank is. It is both in one, It they just, you know, obviously for packaging reasons, chose to do that. So how this works is, this is the highest point in the system. So this, think of this as like your radiator cap. Normally in older systems, you had your radiator cap down here, which tended to be maybe the higher point in the system, like in a truck or something like that. And that was okay because if it's the high, highest point in the system, air can get out, air can, you can bleed the system. With the Camaro, with the radiator being lower than the engine, that causes a problem. So what manufacturers do is they add in this surge tank, as it's called, or expansion tank, and it may, they make this the highest point in the system. So that's why if you look on the tank, they have the fill line right here, cold fill. You wanna fill this top tank all the way to the top, to this fill line, you put your cap on, great. Um, and obviously maybe if you are just had the coolant drained, I would grab the hose and try and squeeze it as you're filling it to purge any air out before you put the cap on, but then you fill it up to this level, put the cap on, you're good to go. With this system, it also has a connected uh, overflow tank to it. So you also have to fill this bottom tank through this uh, opening right here. This pops off and this is your overflow tank. And you wanna also fill that to a cold line, which it's hard to see, but it's right down here where my finger is. And you can see my, my coolant is filled to that line. So let's take a look at the Trans Am. So in an older system, like in my Trans Am, we have the radiator. It is almost the highest point in the system. And in reality, this car probably should have uh, an expansion tank or surge tank as well, but it's it's fine it's not really needed and this is kind of what the car came with but in this case the radiator is more or less the highest point in the system it's really close to the thermostat outlet but the the radiator cap is actually on the radiator we're in the camaro there's no radiator cap on the radiator itself it's in the surge tank which is up here so in this system all this has is an overflow bottle so I have my radiator cap here, which is the highest point, and you have a, a hose connected up to your overflow bottle. And in this, I have my overflow bottle tucked underneath. You can kind of see the bottle right there. Uh, that hose that you see is going to the radiator. And what that does is when the coolant expands in your radiator, it has a place to go into that bottle so it doesn't purge out onto the ground. And you want this because, um, when your engine cools back down, it creates a low pressure in the radiator. So what that does is the radiator cap has a little valve in there that allows it to pull coolant from your overflow bottle back into the radiator so your radiator stays full. So with the surge tank, this is your highest point. So you can see these lines connected here are going from the thermostat, 
the top of the radiator and they're all going to the surge tank. So what that does is it allows air, any air that's trapped in here to get bled off and go into the surge tank, which is the highest point. Same with the radiator, it can purge out, which is good. And then this surge tank is connected through this large hose, which is teed into the uh, heater core. And it also, it tees off here. And then it comes, there's the lower hose underneath here that's wrapped, these two, the lower hose goes to your water pump. And that's the, call it low side, uh, draw of the water pump. And so your water pump can pull from this tank. All right, let's go to the whiteboard or my whiteboard and I can explain a little bit more as well. All right guys, on my whiteboard, I got some simplified pictorials here of what's going on. So as you can see from the graphics, this is what the Camaro has. This has the integrated surge tank and overflow bottle. In the Camaro, it's connected in one bottle, but technically it could be two separate systems, two, or two separate bottles, I should say. So you could have a standalone surge tank or expansion tank, as well as an overflow bottle somewhere else in the system. They just happen to have it all in one. And there is a path in that bottle to purge coolant and like I'll talk about here. So as the surge tank fills up, cause we're having uh, coolant coming in from the thermostat housing, as well as the top of the radio from those little hoses, that's coming into the surge tank. So that's filling up. As it fills up, if pressure builds, it can dump some of the coolant into the overflow tank that's below. And as the car cools, it can pull that back into the surge tank to make sure it keeps your main cooling loop filled because this surge tank is part of your cooling. Those hoses that I showed you, this exiting out the back of the surge tank, this is going to your uh, heater core and it tees right here. Your heater core is coming from this way, it tees and then this, there's a line coming down and it's going to your water pump that can draw. So basically your water pump can draw from this surge tank as well as the heater core. That's one of the lines. But uh, this way it's always, shoving coolant into the surge tank and allowing air to accumulate in here and get purged out. Cause if there's air in here, it'll get purged out and get purged into the overflow. And then this overflow is open to atmosphere so the air can get out. So like I said, why do you want to keep in the Camaro system? Why do you want to keep this surge tank filled? On Facebook, I see it all the time where people barely have any coolant in here. You know, if it's down this low, that's bad. You could potentially trying to pull air into this system. You wanna keep this full because like I said, if this is really low, this is all air in here. Air compresses really easy compared to the fluid. So your cooling system won't be able to build the amount of pressure it normally should because uh, the air is just gonna compress. So if you don't have any pressure in your cooling system, that can lead to the uh, coolant having more bubbles, cavitation. Uh, you wanna keep pressure in your system because pressure helps keep cavitation to a minimum and helps uh, eliminate hot spots in the engine block or heads mainly. Keeping this at a full level will ensure that your cooling system is gonna function properly. It's a lot more simple. You just have the radiator and a bottle or an overflow tank, it could be a pop bottle for for all intensive purposes. Your radiator and if you fill it up, you have your radiator cap, as pressure builds, it can dump the coolant into the overflow. And so it's basically held there in reserve. So as your car is hot, you have a full system. As it cools down and low pressure builds in here because the coolant level drops as it cools, it creates a low pressure and allows, the radiator cap allows coolant to get pulled back in from the overflow tank to keep your system at a full level. All right guys, so I hope that helps out and explains a little bit why you should be keeping and maintaining your cooling system at a full level. I know it seems a little simple, but I see it on Facebook all the time and uh, it just makes me cringe every time I see uh, <laughs> The surge tank, you barely have any coolant in it. And then especially they have none in here. So 
with these LT engines, it's kind of imperative that we maintain the cooling system because they are pretty knock sensitive. And if temperatures are a little bit elevated because um, you know we don't have the right amount of coolant or it's not getting the built up pressure pressure like it should and you get hot spots in the engine, um, it's, it's just not gonna help the performance at all. So that's why you should really double check, make sure yours is uh, filled up to the proper levels. Obviously this is like a radiator cap, so you don't wanna take that off when it's hot, but you know, common sense stuff. So if you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. We're getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, and I wanna thank everybody that does watch the videos as I get questions and you know, I really enjoy doing this. So, and really, you know, this video is just to help people out because I see it and like I said, I really wasn't planning on making a video, but I saw a need. So hopefully this does help some people out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, till the next one guys, peace.